Covanta is Sustainable Tulsa's 2018 overall Bellman Award winner for achievements toward their triple bottom line. People, profit, planet, through the scorecard, the region's first business sustainability tracking and assessment tool. Here is their story. Number one deliverable for Covanta is safety. We are hyper-focused on our employee safety, our guests' safety, and our contractors' safety. You know, right behind that is a focus on environmental performance, and we're very proud of our environmental performance. That's the planet part. And when we focus on people and planet, profit drops to the bottom line. All of our employees are really ambassadors for sustainability, and they're very proud of what they do. They're proud of our safety record. We're over 540 days without a recordable injury. That's something to be truly proud of. And that's that people part again. But knowing how we serve the community, what we do for the communities and industries, companies that we serve, they're very proud of that. So doing the scorecard validates what we're doing and why we're doing it. And it also helped us focus on ways that we can continuously improve. We changed a whole bunch of lighting to LED lighting. It's a lot brighter. The work environment is safer. PSO has a great rebate program and it, we end up saving electricity. We're using less electricity in house and we're a little different company. If I can save half a megawatt of electricity in house, that means I can put half a megawatt of clean renewable electricity onto the grid, which is kind of a double benefit there. Also from a financial standpoint, the scorecard helped us focus on things that we were going to do but can we change what we're going to do in such a way to make us more sustainable? And some of them are really simple. One of which is you notice the big speed bump as you came into our facility today. We needed to replace a speed bump. Instead of rebuilding the speed bump where it is located, we built a new speed bump to help direct rainfall into our retention basin. We're keeping the rain on our property and manage everything on our property. If you don't measure it, you can't manage it. So if you measure how much water you're using, if you measure how much electricity you're using and keep track of that, and the scorecard has a partner that will help you do that. And as you implement energy saving strategies, you can see that change. You can see that improvement and measure that improvement and quantify that improvement. And the scorecard helps you document what you're doing right and gives you plenty of ideas on things you can do. And really the goal is to help change the culture improve the internal culture so everyone is thinking about sustainability in everything we do. For the next year of our scorecard, we're starting to focus on the things that we can improve upon. We already identified and were verified on 126 different categories. We can still improve. And one of the things we're looking to do next year on the planet of People Profit Planet is put a Monarch way station in. The sustainability journey is a marathon. It's not a sprint. Folks shouldn't be discouraged if they only were participants or bronze. It's a fantastic accomplishment. And there's so much you can do. And this takes time. This doesn't happen overnight. Keep in mind, we've been focusing on this for 30 years. The lessons that you learn, people take home. I think you'll see increased recycling at homes. So people identify with it now. If you don't live it at work, you're not gonna live it at home. If you don't live it at home, you're not gonna live it at work. And this will help our chamber of commerce attract international investment. This is something we really should take statewide. Focusing on people, profit, planet, it really means business resiliency. Contributing to your bottom line, whether it's for profit or just prosperity. If you're a nonprofit or a municipality, you wanna be prosperous, you wanna be resilient, and you wanna be responsible. And this tool really is a tool for the state of Oklahoma, and I think nationally.